So about a week ago, I uploaded a video where I added a new difficulty to Minecraft, which basically made the game just straight up impossible. A lot of people tried it and some actually succeeded, but for most people it was too difficult. So I present to you baby mode in Minecraft. Now you can probably guess what this difficulty does. It basically removes all of the danger from the game, but not in the ways that you might expect. Let me show you what I did. Whenever you spawn in a new world, the first thing you're going to need to do is chop down a tree. Now, I don't know if you know, but um, chopping down a tree with just your fist, kind of painful. Kind of don't want to do that. Kind of don't want to break some fingers. All you got to do is look at a tree and say, hey. Just, just... <laughs> No, um, it's, it's, <laughs> it's based on whenever you look at a tree. All you gotta do is look at a tree for long enough, basically intimidate it with your eyes, and eventually get so scared that it just breaks. So once you got yourself some wood, you can make a crafting table and some sticks, and then you combine them, you slap them together, and then you can make a pickaxe. But, once you make a pickaxe, why would you want it to be just a pickaxe? I mean, it would be much nicer if it already was pre-enchanted, right? Oh man, wouldn't that be nice? Oh man! What's this? <laughs> every single tool will already have every enchantment that it's going to need. So as example, a pickaxe will always need efficiency 5 to, you know, mine faster and I'm breaking so it lasts longer. There's no reason you wouldn't want these enchantments, meaning, you know, you might as well just have them from the start. Before I show you what I did with the mobs, I have an announcement! I got a website! Fundy.store! There's merch and stuff! Fundy.store! Look at all these cool things! Look at this one! Oh, look at that one! Oh! Limited edition! It's all gonna be gone in a week! If you follow me on Twitter and send a picture of you wearing the merch, you can win a Nintendo Switch! I'll ship it! Just follow me! It's comfy! Fundy.store! Now, probably one of the biggest dangers in Minecraft is all of the mobs that are hostile. So, as example, creepers and zombies and skeletons and whatever else there is out there to kill you. Now, the thing is, you now have enchanted gear and because of this stuff, you look so intimidating... <laughs> ...that every single mob just vanishes in front of your eyes. They absolutely do not want to deal with you. You look way too intimidating. They get way too scared. This is the case for every single hostile mob. As long as it's angry at you, it will disappear. It will vanish as soon as it sees you. It gets scared as hell and it just vanishes. There we go. Okay, I don't know why why that was the case, but yeah, they, they vanish whenever they see you. It's a little bit different whenever you're talking about Endermen, because normally whenever you're near them, they don't really get angry at you. You can, you know, take a selfie, whatever you want. All you gotta do is not look him in the eyes. But, obviously, when you look at him... <laughs> he skedaddles, he's out, he doesn't want to deal with it. And as you can see, he also drops two pearls instead of one. I genuinely really dislike it whenever an enemy dies and you get just no reward from it. So now he always drops two because he has two eyes or w whatever else he has two of. All right, so now you got your tools, you got your mob loot and you're pretty safe, it's your second day. You probably want to go down in the caves, right? You know, go get some torches, light up the area, see if you can find some cool ores, some redstone, some lapis lazuli, some diamonds, but no, no, we don't do that, no, bad. What you do instead is, you know, you just mine stone. Just mine stone. Believe me, <laughs> mine stone. I made it. So that every piece of stone, as long as it's normal stone, has a very small chance, and apparently it happens a lot, but suppose- Oh! Oh! It has a very small chance, about a eh, 5% chance, to get diamonds. A normal piece of stone. To get diamonds. This basically means you don't need to go anywhere anymore. Just find stone, and chop it down. That's all you gotta do. It's all you gotta do, and with patience and time, you'll get what you want. Now, once you got the stuff you want, the other thing, of course, is food. And uh, the main way to get food is uh, to slay animals. 
But then again, animals aren't that common. There's only one cow here. So how do you solve that? Well, just make it never die. <laughs> just make sure you can keep hitting the same animal over and over. It's actually also like a really good way to get a bunch of XP, but you know, there you go. A stack of beef right there. Easy. Now, if there's one thing I definitely never understood is that whenever you kill a wither skeleton, you literally see his head being on his body. If you kill him, you would assume you get the head, right? But in normal vanilla, you only get it like in a 2% chance. So what I did instead is, um, you know, I made it guaranteed. I mean, it only makes sense, doesn't it? Like, <laughs> oh, bye. And the same should be for blazes. I mean, you can literally see there is 12 blaze rods spinning around him. Why should I only get one? That doesn't make sense. I should get 12. <laughs> Obviously, blazes and wither skeletons aren't the only real dangers in the nether. Um, if you couldn't tell from where I'm standing right now, uh, lava is actually also in the nether. And uh, when you touch it, it hurts. However, you're so cool <laughs> that you're immediately turn it into obsidian. You're just that cool. It, it can't touch you. You're too cool for it. Same thing with fire. If you get touched by fire, it just, you know, removes the fire whenever you stand in it. And it also does like barely any damage and flowing lava turns into cobblestone. I'm telling you, you're just too cool. Then again, you know, finding a blaze fortress is kind of annoying. To even get there, you need a nether portal, you need obsidian and a flint and steel, and then locate it, kill blaze. It's a, it's a hassle. There's a bunch of things you need to do. Instead of doing all of that, all you have to do is just uh, type that in chat and, um, you know, let, let, let Minecraft do its thing. Maybe do it a few times. There we go. Got a few blaze rods. And maybe get some ender pearls and craft them together. And voila! You got your eyes of ender. Just like that. Now, once you actually end up, you know, going into the direction of the stronghold, you might just want to wait a little second. Because going through the stronghold, it's, it's a tough task, you know? You might want to maybe brew some potions before. And uh, once you do, I mean... Considering you brew it before, you now know the ingredients, you have the ingredients, you made it once. Um, if you made it, the game just considers, hey, if you did it once, you can probably do it like a couple thousand times again. So instead of ha making you do that, I'll just give the effect forever. I'll just give it. I mean, you know what? You've proven yourself. You made a speed potion. You can keep it. Just like that. Now, once you do end up going to the nether and finding the stronghold and um, totally scaring the silverfish. <laughs> now, once you're at your final big challenge, I, um, I decided that was a little bit too hard. It was a little bit too tough. You know, the dragon, it's a dragon, a dragon versus a player. What are you supposed to do? You're, you're like this tall. So as soon as you actually enter the nether, um, the dragon actually starts uh, trash talking you. As you can see in chat, he says, I will destroy you. Now, there's one legendary comeback that you can say against a dragon talking this, this kind of language. <laughs> oh, that's so satisfying. And there it goes, just like that. It can't stand it. It can't stand it. You can't defeat the power of no you. That's it. It's that easy. And then, of course, you know, you also have the wither. You know, fighting the wither is, um... Kind of the same deal. Oh, they never learn. They never learn. There's actually a few other things that I didn't really get to cover, such as whenever you're underwater, um... You now actually have the lungs of a world record holder of um, holding breath. Um, you can now stand in the water for 22 minutes straight. That means a day and night cycle has to go past twice <laughs> for you to even start taking damage. And next to that, whenever you try and swim, um, God <laughs> is saying, hey, um, I see you trying to swim. That's kind of slow. Uh, here's a boat for you. You know, I, uh, I crafted a boat for you. And... Um, it seems like he really intends you on using a boat, 
because uh, you absolutely cannot get rid of it. <laughs> you can keep dropping it as much as you want, but uh, he really insists on you using a boat. So uh, might as well take his advice and just ride in style. There's actually a few more things that I haven't shown you yet, but I'll leave those for you to find out. Like usual, the plugin is completely free for download. And all I'm asking is if you did enjoy the video and aren't subscribed yet, consider subscribing as it does help me out a ton. Worst case scenario, you can just unsubscribe, but without further ado, hope you guys enjoyed, take care and see ya. Oh man, this outro is so good. It really gives me the vibes to like, click that red subscribe button, right? Yeah, it totally does. Oh man, you should do it too and stuff.